One of the essential tools for visualization in CS3D imaging is creating a reconstructed panoramic image. To create a panoramic image, you must be in the Curved Slicing tab. Please note, there is an automatic arch creation tool which may be on by default. If you would prefer to create your own panoramic images, this feature may be disabled by clicking Edit Preferences, then choosing the NPR option, uncheck the box labeled Automatically Create an Arch. On the Curved Slicing tab, adjust the axial view using the slider below the image until you find the level at which you would like to draw your panoramic curve. Generally, this will be done at the level of the crowns of the teeth, but if you're intending to focus on a different region, the maxillary sinuses or the mandibular nerves, for example, the axial slicing may be adjusted accordingly. In the Tools panel, click the Manually Create an Arch tool. Then, moving to the axial slice, do a series of left clicks along the arch to set the control points of the curve. The curve will be drawn in red, and as each point in the curve is added, the panoramic image in the upper right is dynamically updated. When finished, double-click to set the last control point on the curve. The full, reconstructed panoramic image will now be displayed in the upper right, and the transaxial cross-section is below it. The panoramic image may look a bit strange, as it's displayed as a curve with the slice thickness at the scan's native resolution, in this case 180 micrometers. To make it look like a more traditional radiograph, you can use the Set Integration drop-down to increase the slice thickness. Use the same tool to change it back. To adjust the arch curve, you can click and drag either the control points of the curve or the red line of the curve. You can also move the curve facially or lingually using the scroll wheel on the mouse or the red movement handle in the transaxial view. To adjust the field of view, click the Region of Interest tool, then use the white horizontal lines to display more or less of the image. To delete and redraw an arch curve, simply re-click the Manually Create an Arch tool. You'll be prompted to confirm that you want to delete the existing curve, click Yes, and you may redraw your panoramic arch. If you have questions about this or any of our products, please contact us at 800-944-6365 or visit us on the web at carestreamdental.com. Please also take note of the system requirements for best software performance.